Hey there, and welcome to the course where I'm going to be showing you how you can use JavaScript to query to your Google spreadsheet and retrieve back data from the spreadsheet, and output it into your web applications. My name is Lawrence. I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I come to you with many years of web development experience, and I really enjoy working with JavaScript and Google Apps Script. I've had a lot of questions from students about how to use their spreadsheets database type format. So this saves you the trouble of having backend code where you can just set up your spreadsheet, share the spreadsheet, and then use JavaScript in order to make a fetch request to the spreadsheet and retrieve back data that's coming directly from the spreadsheet. You can customize the queries. You can select different columns, different sheets. You can update these. So I've set up this application so that it's easy to update the parameters, retrieve back data from the different sheets as well as different parts of the data quickly and easily with JavaScript. The course is going to be at an intermediate level where we're going to be covering just the basics of connecting to the spreadsheet using JavaScript and how we can construct the object from the returned data that's coming back from the spreadsheet and then use that object within our JavaScript code to update what's being displayed on the page. Please note that prior JavaScript experience is essential for this course. And we are only going to be covering the coding part and not the syntax and what it does. This course is going to be making use of the document object. So selecting elements from the page using fetch requests, constructing objects with JavaScript looping through arrays and data, creating elements on the fly, updating the styling of those elements that were just created, and adding them to your web page, all using JavaScript. So JavaScript is an essential prerequisite to taking the content of this course, as we are only going to be covering the code needed in order to make the request to the spreadsheet data and then return back that spreadsheet data in a JavaScript object format that then we use in order to output and construct the page content. Source code is included, as well as if you have any questions or comments, I'm always happy to hear from you. So I know you're excited. Let's get started coding and connecting to those spreadsheets and pulling back the data into our web applications.